Welcome to this GamblingSites.org how-to video. Today, we're focusing on another system for counting cards in blackjack, the KO system, also known as the knockout system. This video will describe the system in detail and help you decide if it might be the right one for you. If you haven't watched our introductory videos in a card counting, make sure you watch those first before advancing here. The KO system is a single level system, meaning you're only adding or subtracting one for each card that you see. In this system, aces and tens and all face cards are worth minus one, while all two, three, four, five, six, and sevens are worth plus one. The eights and nines are worth nothing. You'll notice that there are 20 cards in each deck worth minus one, but 24 worth plus one. This is an unbalanced system, and the reason for that is because the authors wanted to find a way to eliminate the need for converting the running count into a true count. In most systems, you have to take into account the number of decks when counting. That's because with more decks in play, each card has a lower impact on your cards. In this unbalanced system, there are more cards assigned a plus one value in the deck than a minus one value. The other key point for this is that the count starts at a number determined by the number of decks in use, not at zero. So here's how that works. If you're playing blackjack with two decks of cards, the count begins at minus four. If you're using six decks of cards, the count starts at minus 20. If you're using eight decks, the starting count is minus 28. In a single deck game, you do just start the deck at zero like normal. So how do you work your wagers using this system? Your bet range will vary based on your bankroll, but let's say you have a bankroll of $2,000. You might then be comfortable betting between $20 and $120 a hand. In this example, when the count is negative or zero, you'd bet $20 a hand. When the count is plus two or higher, you'd bet $40 a hand. When the count is plus four or above, you'd bet $60 a hand, and so on, until you reach your personal cap. Your estimated advantage when the count is positive ranges from anywhere between 1% and 4%. You're increasing your wagers there to account for the house edge that you're giving the casino when the count is negative or at zero. The betting correlation for the system is 0.98, which actually ranks higher than the betting correlation score for the high-low system. Pretty impressive, considering you don't need to do division and convert from a running count to a true count. It may not be the easiest to use, but the KO system is still pretty simple. It's especially good for people who have no trouble adding and subtracting, but who do have trouble with mental division and estimating how many decks are left in a shoe. We have plenty of additional videos and articles for you to make sure that you are the best blackjack player that you can be, including more within the advanced blackjack section. So make sure to check out gamblingsites.org for even more on the game.